I'm going to be doing a Wednesday entertainment video today. This is going to be... <clears throat> so this seems like a good video in a way. It's like about three and a half minutes long. <clears throat> my name is Mandy. Every time I saw this video like on my desktop because I download all my videos, every time I see Mandy, I always think of Handy Mandy. So I don't know. That's always what I think about. So my name is Mandy and, and I try to save pe people. Sorry, I can't say uh, anything that starts with the letter P. It's hard for me to say. <clears throat> so, yeah. This one ought to be interesting. It's obviously probably a good video in a way. I'll try to save that word. So like, you know, I should be, I should be, okay. Cool, I mean, good on you. I mean, I hope you're okay. And like, I don't know what you mean by save that word, but like just become a police officer or like a paramedic or something like that. You know what I mean? I don't know, just do that. Like, you know. Because can't just fail. I mean, like, I'm good on you. That's obviously good, but like, you're on a cop, you're not like, you know. That day, I saw him on one of my usual walks along the bridge. He was a tall, middle-aged man in a cheap-looking suit. I approached him carefully, not wanting to spook him. I asked, Sir? He turned around quickly with his face drenched in sweat. Who are you? He asked nervously. I answered with a smile. I'm Mandy. You should move away from here. It's pretty dangerous, I said, pointing to the edge of the bridge where he was standing. What are you doing here? He looked at me for a few seconds before speaking again. Oh, I come here often. It's quiet, so I like that. I smiled at him again. He then looked down at the water below. He also said that I really shouldn't be hanging out in a place like this. Your parents must be worried about it. He sounded calmer, but wouldn't meet my eyes. I spoke softly. Well, he, he seems my really parents sad. know I'm here. They know I like to help people like you. He turned to me, and I looked at him without blinking. So she goes to the bridge to save people from coming to suicide? Jump. The look on his face changed to one of uneasiness. So he tried to say something, but nothing came out. It will hurt like nothing's ever hurt before. And it's just a fall, but the aftermath is even worse. His eyes widened and he shouted, Get out of here, kid. You don't even know what you're talking about. He sounded more alarmed than angered. I continued to look at him as he breathed heavily. Then I slowly pointed to the pictures and flowers attached to the railings just behind him. Actually, I do. He looked in the direction I was pointing, taking a few seconds to process what he was seeing. He then turned around slowly to look at me, pure horror on his face. How... how can you... At that moment, I knew I had saved him. At least for now. <clears throat> he stood there for a moment longer, frozen and unsure of what to do. Then he didn't say any words, simply turned around and ran as fast as he could. I dropped my shoulders and breathed a sigh of relief. I walked over to the railings and just sat there, looking at the pictures. <clears throat> we miss you, Mandy was written on a big card decorated with hearts and flowers. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, wait, is she photo. dead? Gone too soon, said another, surrounded by teddy bears, clothes, and lots of flowers. It all looked so pretty. My name is Mandy. I was 19 when I died, and now I try to help people live. Wow. I don't know what to say to that. I did not expect anything like that. Wow, I just thought like you were like trying to like save people, be some kind of like hero or something, you know what I mean? I mean, you kind of are basically, but you know, uh, damn, I did not expect that at all. All right, well. All right. Um, <clears throat> again, with like the ghost stories, like I don't understand how, it's like, it's like the guy wanted to jump and, it's like because she already did jump, or I'm assuming she jumped because that's what the pictures were and stuff. Um, it's like her spirit was telling him not to do it because like she was gone too soon, and it's kind of like she didn't want the same thing to happen to him, you know. 
So in a way, it's kind of like, it's not like she was actually there, it's just kind of like maybe it's all in your head. It's just kind of like, I think you think about it, because like when you like when you contemplate suicide sometimes, like it's just kind of like, like you're, like you're obviously in your thoughts, obviously, and I don't, I don't know, maybe you just kind of thought of what, of what would happen afterward, or I don't know. I don't know what to think of that really, but at first I was kind of thinking, what is she dead? And she is, so it's actually, that took a turn, that took a weird turn. <laughs> I mean, that was interesting, but, all right. Um, that's gonna be it for this video. Um, be sure to subscribe if you are new. Be sure to turn on post notifications and be sure to also like this video and uh, comment any suggestions you have below. And I'll get to them hopefully within a week or so. And that's gonna be it for this video, so let me know what you guys thought. And I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.